Statistics show that crime on the streets of Indianapolis is way down. However, the number of tips coming into Crime Stoppers is way up. IMPD says the key to solving crime in the community is for the community to tell investigators what it knows, and it's a message we include in every newscast we do. 317-262-TIPS. Law enforcement needs information. Uh, the community wants to remain safe. If law enforcement doesn't have that information, they can't look in the right direction. Tips flow into Crime Stoppers of Central Indiana through its website, on its app, and over its 24-7 phone line. There's been an explosion in the actual tip numbers over the last decade or so. If you looked at our numbers probably up into the late 2000s, uh, you'd be looking at maybe a couple of thousand original tips. Now we're seeing something closer to eight hopefully nine, 10,000 tips. And those tips are leading to arrests and to the solving of cases. We had about a couple hundred uh, felony, major felony arrests. 95% of the tips we get, there's a little box, they can click on it and it says, I don't want a reward. I'm not looking for money. I just, I just want to have a safe place to live. Crime Stoppers representatives from across the country will descend on Indianapolis later this week to share the best practices and see what works in mobilizing the community to fight crime in its own neighborhood. They chose Indiana this year. Uh, I think that's because we have one of the best programs in the entire nation. Uh, to come to Indianapolis. Crime Stoppers can translate a tip in any language. Crime Stoppers of Central Indiana receives tips on cases from as far away as South Bend, Fort Wayne, even Delphi, and still receives information about cold cases such as the Burger Chef murders. On the west side, Russ McQuaid, CBS 4 News.